So my journey of faith uh, was started when I was super young. My parents are people of faith, and uh, that was in our household. So um, we grew up, whether we liked it or not, being dragged to church um, every Sunday at nine o'clock. But as I as I grow old, grew older, um, the I like the I like Jesus, the guy they were talking about, but. The, the idea of having to behave and do things the right way didn't really appeal to me. And, and basically, uh, I, we, we, we lived in Cape Town, we moved to Johannesburg. And what happened when we moved to Joburg is in Cape Town, none of my friends, a lot of my like, tight group of friends went to church. It was, always, it was other people that I became friends with. So they were, they were like separate worlds. This, this world of like the people I hung out with and then the, <clears throat> the world of these people that went to church. And um, when I went to Johannesburg, all of a sudden, my friends were the people that went to church and all the cool kids at school went to church. And it was this like this mashup of realizing, oh, wait a minute, you can actually be in the world and have a good time and, and have a cool life and also go to church and, and um, have the things that Jesus spoke about mold your life. And slowly but surely, I just got it. Um, I asked a lot of questions of the world and, and I wanted to know stuff and discover things. And, and as I discovered things, progressively, um, I found them to be really fun. And what happened is at the end of, towards the end of school in, in matric, I had what they call a spontaneous pneumothorax where your lung gets blisters and then those blisters pop and your lung collapses. And um, my lung collapsed twice in matric and, and uh, one day I was lying in the hospital bed and, um, and I heard God speak to me, which I hadn't heard in, in years. And I felt him just ask a simple question. He just said, do you believe in me? And uh, I said, yeah. And he said, well, then what are you going to do about it? And um, for me, it was, it was kind of like that moment where the rubber hits the road, where I realized the, that the things I believed in and the things that I loved, I, they actually needed to influence my life. They couldn't be separate. And, um, and I think for some people, the idea of, of a God or the idea of Christianity or the idea of religion or the idea of Jesus is like a nice idea or it's a crutch or it's like it's like an addition to their life. Where for me, without Jesus, like the world doesn't make sense. With Jesus, I feel like I can ask him a question and the answers that he gives me satisfy me. And for me, I've loved the journey of, um, of really being in the center of, of the world, but being centered by Christ. The ways of Jesus have become, for me, the best possible way to live my life, and that's why I do. Mm -hmm.